Well, we're passing by the France Pavilion right behind us, and I was trying to convince her to eat the escargot. So she wasn't going for it, so I need you all to help me out here. All right, let's get going and figure out what do we want to get to eat. I'm looking at our booklet. Man, this thing has seen better days. Holy cannoli, look at this thing. It's, it's tore up. Um, we've got four out of five. We only need one more. The problem is, I don't know which ones we've already gotten. We get so much food here that I can't even remember. I know, I think we got the mac and cheese. I know we got the crispy paneer. I think we got the griddled cheese, but I can't remember what the fourth one was. So, hopefully we don't get it again on accident. Wow, I really literally cannot remember what we got on that list. Because some of the things are the same things they had last year. And so I'm trying to remember if we got it this year or last year. And I can't remember. We still like to get things even that we've gotten last year, like the previous years, because sometimes they change a little bit. Um, maybe they're a little bit better, maybe they're a little bit worse. And we try to, we like to. Or we just like them. I think I think we're gonna go. I think we go for the shinken noodle. And I didn't I, we, know I, there was a question. I knew that's what we were gonna get. I'm pretty sure. We, I don't think we've had that this year, right? Yeah. We had that last year, and I remember it being phenomenal. We had it twice last year. Do they have more than one kind? There's only the one shinken noodle. I think there's only one. Only one? I remember it being popping last year, and I've been kind of like dying to get it again. So I say we get it. Let's do that. That that'll be the one that'll close out. Emile's montage fromage, and then maybe we'll get a few more things. It's working. Uh, we're walking by Figment, so my band's going off. And I waved all the way from over here, and it seemed like it worked. I really do think the wave, that person, I don't remember who it was that gave us that tip, and it, it literally has worked. Um, before, we were kind of like stumbling around, and we couldn't figure it out. But after the told us about the waving, it seems like it's working. All right, right or left, normally we go left. I'm thinking we're gonna go left again today because the Schinken Noodlin is in Germany and we'll be closer to it if we go left. So left again it is today. Uh, there's just better stuff on the left. With the exception of Canada on the right side, every, pretty much everything that's good is on the left side, in my opinion. Take a look at the Stargate. Yeah, it looks so nice out there in the water, doesn't it? They have officially announced that they are in fact getting rid of the Stargate and the taco barges. I didn't know that they were I didn't know that people referred to them as taco barges I I like, oh. until I until I read something about it the other day. What the heck was that? Someone, th that guy just walked by with some giant lettuce cup looking things. Have we gotten that? Why haven't we gotten that again? Oh, look popping. We got that? Was it a lettuce cup? What was it? Why haven't we gotten that? Why didn't we? It, was it expensive for what it was or something? I mean, we just have already gotten it, so we didn't get it again. <laughs> no, it's time to get it again. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll come back. Usually at the end of the festival, especially the festivals that are long that we really love, uh, we come back at the end of it, like the last week, and we retry all the things that we loved. And then sometimes we throw in something that we hated just to see if anything's changed. I don't know why we do that because it usually doesn't change. It's still, it's still busted. We still got to get you eating that snail, though. Yeah, we're 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 doing that. Yeah, I think it. I think it'll. I think it'll be good. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. It sounds good. Oh, yum! I can smell the air coming out of the Mexico pavilion. It smells so good. It reminds me of like Pirates of the Caribbean. I think because of the water in there. Um, in the three caballeros. Grand Fiesta ride. It smells good. It smells like Disney World. That's what it smells like. Well, once again, there are a ton of people here. Fall break, apparently. My daughter told me. Apparently, we found out it's fall break. <laughs> What's up with fall break? Ohio didn't have fall break. So we're like, fall break? Fall break? I think it's a South thing. Didn't you just go back to school a month ago? Why do you need a fall break already? Hey, it's a lot of work. I don't know. Fall break? 
I feel like we didn't get any breaks in school. We got Christmas break, and that was it. But you were also allowed to take off and as many days break. as you wanted, really. Nowadays, you uh, can't hardly take off at all. I mean, I don't think you were allowed to take off as many days, but you didn't get imprisoned no. for taking off too many days. <laughs> so, still though, fall break. I don't know. No breaks. No breaks. I'm, gonna, I'm the rock. I'm going to do the rock. In um, Rundown, is it? Or Shawn Michael Scott? Is that his name? Uh, I love him as an actor. I think that's his name. I'm be, uh, uh. Anyway, the dude, his like sidekick in the Rundown with the rock. Love that movie, by the way. Um, he's like, no breaks. I don't give breaks. And then he's mocking him, saying, no breaks. No breaks. Whatever. I'm the only person that's ever seen that movie, apparently. I just want to give you a glimpse of how many people are here. This is making it increasingly difficult just to walk. It's uh, pretty crowded. Pretty crowded. Okay, we made it to Germany. Um, it was fairly uneventful getting here. There was a lot of people though. Yeah. Okay. Man, it was, it's, it's pretty crowded. Although the line, honestly, the line to get the food no, was short. Was, no, there was no wait. There was nothing, nothing happening. Um, it was pretty quick. And we got none other than the Schenken Noodlin. Yum, <laughs> check it out. We already know we like it. Um, if it's the same, I'm sure it is. I'll, I'm gonna be honest and say it's much smaller yeah. than it was, was last year. the first year. thing I noticed when they handed it to me. Last year it was, I'd say it was twice this size last year. At least a third bigger. I thought twice, but I'm like, maybe a third. It, no, it but... was big last year. Yeah, it was. It was and very, like, dense. And it was dense. huge. The portion is smaller, for sure. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit taller. I don't think so. I don't I think it's way. I think it's way smaller. Yeah, it's not taller. And I saw somebody else walking by with one right when we were headed <laughs> up here, and I was like, man, that one, that person's is really small. Yeah. Ours is also small. Um, all the tables were taken, so we're doing it in the, over in the Crev, but <laughs> we're over here at Snow White's little well here. So this we're going to make a wish. Yeah, this is where you uh, <laughs> Snow White's meet and greet is when she's out. Hopefully she doesn't show up while we're here. I guess we can give her a bite of our chicken noodle. This was one of the locations that we recommended for our top photo spots or we wanted to. We did a top photo spots at Epcot. We wanted to do this one, but um, this used, it was roped off during COVID. So you couldn't actually get into this spot. You can but see now it's up there in front of it. <laughs> now it's totally open. And by the way, we came over here and we did a picture because um, we did a couple of pictures over here with the chicken noodle in. And after, by the way, there's nobody over here. And then after we took a picture, all of a sudden there was like a line of five people trying to get pictures we here. We started a trend. We started a trend. So, um, but they're all gone now. So now we're just kind of chilling here. And Snow White's not here, unfortunately, because that would make this video much better. But I want to dig in. Schinken noodling. It smells so good. All right, let's let's rip into this. I smell the caramel popcorn. I'll be right by it. Yeah, it's right around there. Yeah, I smell it. It's right. It's right. The, the caramel popcorn is right there. We don't, don't have a table, it. so I don't know how we're gonna go. Yeah, here, let's do that. Check that out. Can you see it? Uh, Yum. I'm losing the whole thing here. Let's do it. It's just as good as it was before. This is, I think, my third time having it. Third or fourth, I can't remember. Yeah, third or fourth? Yeah, third at least. Yeah, because we had it twice uh, for last year's food and wine, because we had it at the end. And yeah. then they had a different version for the Festival of the Holidays, and we had it with our daughter Lexi and Max when they oh, yeah? came to Epcot with us. So yeah, I think this is like our third or fourth time. I don't remember. Yeah. What was the Festival of the Holidays one? I don't remember. Same thing, I think. Was it? I could be making all of that up. I think you're making it up. I don't remember a Schinken noodle in a festival of holidays. I thought they had like an au gratin potato thing. Maybe. You know what? I'm wrong. I, th I know we thought this was an au gratin potato. I remember the whole first part of the episode, I kept saying we were getting the au gratin potato, and it was potatoes, and then we finally got it, and it was noodles. <laughs> and AKA it was named the Schinken noodle in. I thought there was a bug, but it's just his napkin in his pocket. Mmm. 10 out of 10. It kind of tastes like comfort food. That's the one right there, I'm telling you. Like something your mom made you back in the day. That's what this reminds me of. I feel like this is one of the things that made us start falling in love with the um, Germany booth. 
They also have the apple strudel over there, which I kind of wanted to get. Maybe on another day, but I love this. This is one of the best things they have in the festival. I'm sorry, it really is. It's so good. Yeah. We're, I'm gonna eat the, we're gonna eat the whole thing. There will be none left. That's how you know. I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with everybody on the video. A lot of the foods that we get at these festivals, we take one bite and that's it. It just depends because we get really full really quickly. We try not to waste it, so we try not to buy too much because I don't like to waste food. Yeah. Um. So we get like little stuff that we can like one bite is almost the whole dish and we share. That's why we always share dishes. But like when we eat the whole thing, you know, that's how that's how you know that we know that it's good, that you know, that we know, that we know, that you know, that you know, that we know that it's really, really good when it's gone. Well, either that or it's a really small portion size. One of those two things. I mean, just 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 look at this like crispy brown cheese on there not to be confused with the griddled cheese it's got this Which like crispy layer no it wasn't i beg to differ i beg to differ i'm differing to beg you can have the rest there's only like a small morsel left all right shink and noodling top i mean top probably top five top ten things you can get in any of the festivals um it, those noodles they do a good job of cooking those noodles so they're not like overcooked somehow oh, they're, yeah, they're they're still really like good. firm everything about it's perfect I don't, know if, I don't know that it's like egg noodles or something. I don't know. It, the, the noodles are like those like thick, flat noodles that are kind of curly edged. Maybe they're egg noodles. I don't know. Um, and they got some sort of like delicious cheddar -y, buttery. I mean, it's like it is a little greasy. It's like buttery and yeah, cheddar like <laughs> And then it's also got little, little bits of ham in there. This, and it's like that. That's, the ham adds that little bit of saltiness with the cheese and the texture and a little brown crispy cheese on top. I can't say enough good things about it. It's only five bucks. Five bucks. It did used to be bigger though. It did used to be bigger. <laughs> this is the bridge area that I was talking about that's actually a really good view of the harmonious fireworks. But as you can see, we've also mentioned that a lot of times it's roped off or covered for an event like a wedding. So they do a lot of weddings in this space. So you can't count on this location for the fireworks for you, but it is an awesome spot and there's usually not a lot of people here. But unfortunately, if you walk all the way back here, hoping to get a good spot for the fireworks and then it's not available, it kind of is a pain. So it's a little bit of a risk. So it pays to kind of scout it out early if you're looking for a good spot. And with that, Shink and Noodle in, we are officially done with the Emile's Montage Fromage. I didn't think we were ever gonna get done with it, honestly. We've been really dragging on it this year. Um, it's taken us a couple months. But we're done. So now we're going to head to Shimmering Sips and get our reward. I'm curious to see if it's the same as it was last year or not. Find out. Well, we're passing by the France Pavilion right behind us. And I was trying to convince her to eat the escargot. So she wasn't going for it. So I need you all to help me out here. If you want her to no, eat, eat it. the snot, I mean, the slug, I, I mean, the escargots, I mean, the snails. Escargo. I need you to comment below. I need you to comment. I need you to give a lot of love, a lot of likes, a lot of comments. Not likes, comments. I need comments below if you want to see her eat the escargo. Not me. No, that's not that, that's not gonna help. This is it's for her. She has to eat them. So if you want to see that, I need you to comment below on this video. Comment below. We made it over to Shimmering Sips by Corksicle. Hello. Um, she's in line. She's going to get our free prize at the end. I really am anxious to see if it's the same or not. It's starting to get a little dark out. Um, but we'll find out here in just a second. I feel like we hardly ever come to this booth unless we're getting our free thing. But they actually have a few things here. We should stop and get them. They have this guava mousse. I'm not a huge fan of the flavor profile of guava, I'll be honest, but it says it's on a sugar cookie with coconut lime whipped cream. Um, yum, that sounds good. I have a feeling though that the cookie, the sugar cookie will be wet and soft instead of like a crisp sugar cookie, which is what it really needs to be. 
then they have a bunch of drinks and a flute you can buy here so but we're just gonna get the free thing for now all right we picked it up what did they give us let's t talk about it let us know what do we get mm. okay it looks the same exactly as last year, the same as which last I was year. hoping for. It's cheesecake with raspberry mm. vanilla swirled ice cream. Um, I'm guessing it's raspberry. That's what we thought last year. And then it has like some graham cracker uh, crust in it also. So. Oh, okay. I'm excited okay. because I didn't get much of the cheesecake last time because she ate it all. <laughs> I remember that. I plan on doing that. So I'm going to be getting, I'm getting a piece of cheesecake first <laughs> and a little bit of the graham cracker and just a tiny bit of the stuff. There you go. Um. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go in for it right here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. This is the best redemption they have. Forget the ice cream. Just give me the cheesecake. Man, that cheesecake's good. Um, I feel like this is the chintziest one. I feel like all the other ones you got more stuff. Yeah. Uh, I like this. I don't care. I like this one better. But the actual dessert itself is, is really good. Yeah. I love it. Um, and it's like refreshing. I, I'm pretty sure I said that last year. It is just really good. I will say it is the same exact cup that we already have from last year. It doesn't even have the date on it. I just realized. It's cute, um, but we already have it. I might so they can just reuse it. this every year because it doesn't have a date on it. I just yeah. realized. I wonder if... I have to look at the one we still have at home to see if it has a date, but I, it's I the same exact one. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> Um, what do you think of this ice cream? I love it. It's raspberry. I don't really dig the ice cream. I like it. It tastes a little bit like uh, medicine to me. The, the, yeah. It does not taste like It tastes like medicine. And I'm distracted by an Eagles football game that's on. Right yes. Now. She's been carrying around. <laughs> she, not me. Well. She's been carrying Nick around the phone. part of the Noble Way. His cousin Josiah is on the team and they're undefeated right now I just keep looking at it. that's true he is on the team so and he's playing seen, and there's less than a minute left so I just keep doing that so yeah so <laughs> um I don't like this ice cream though I don't like it but I love the, Are cheesecake. You done with the cheesecake I'm done with the whole thing you're gonna have the rest well overall um whoa I almost chucked the whole thing overall it's okay I don't like the ice cream she likes the ice cream I love the cheesecake though I could just I could take the cheesecake with nothing else, um, but it was free. I think it's a free dessert, and you get the little keepsake, which I think is a, is a good deal. Just for trying a few things on the menu, I like the fact that they added multiple choices, because now you don't feel obligated to get things that you don't like. You've got other options. Yeah. Okay, so, sorry, I had, to pause, I had to pause the video, <laughs> because it looks like the Eagles have landed. Yeah. Um, and I'll be watching the Bengals later. I'm on both bandwagons, the Bengals and the Eagles. Who are they even playing? So, who are playing? the Cardinals. Cardinals, okay. I thought the Cardinals was a baseball team. I thought the same thing. Isn't the Cardinals a baseball I team? I really thought... I, I'm pretty sure there's a Cardinals baseball team, Maybe too. it's not Cardinals, and I just keep calling that, but it's definitely Arizona, and there's a red bird. I think it's the Cardinals. But I think it's anyway, Cardinals. Um, he just missed a field goal at the very end. He I'm pretty two, sure that means that wait, they Wait, why won. is he doing it again? No, oh, they're just grounding okay, the ball. So, I think that's the game. They yeah. won. Yahoo! I don't know how he missed a field goal from well, like three twice. feet away, but he totally did. Yeah. Twice. So, yeah, two, I don't twice. care because I don't care about football. But she was excited. I'm but I am excited for Josiah. Yeah. He is on the team. He plays. He's he's awesome, by the way. He's fantastic. And he's basically a family member of ours. So, <laughs> maybe they'll get to the Super Bowl and they'll win. Yeah, maybe it'll be Come the on, Bengals Come on, let's go, Josiah. Let's go, Josiah. Eagles. Get yourself a Super Bowl Wait, ring. Shh. Maybe it'll be the Bengals versus the Eagles. I'm gonna have to root for the Eagles I if would, they make I, it against the Bengals. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I would Can too. they? Are they both in the AFC? I don't know. Because if they're both in the I AFC, they can't. Means. They can't both get to the Super Bowl. I just started watching football at the end of last year's season. <laughs> AFC. I have no idea. I, I don't know. I don't even know what that means. This this right here <laughs> does not do football, so I have no clue what's happening. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, Emil's montage fromage. I think it's good that they have multiple. Um, options. You don't feel obligated to get something that's busted. You have more choices, and then you get this free delicious treat at the end, which I think is pretty solid. So, and you get a keepsake. Let's keep cruising. And what better way to end the night at the Food and Wine Festival than none other than Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind? That's right. We have a virtual queue for it. it looks really crowded over here, but hopefully the line's not too long. Let's go, Cosmic Rewind.
looks so cool at night, looks so cool in the daytime. Either way, it's cool. Well, I think the monorails look really cool at nighttime. Um, but we are heading into the Wonders of Xandar. I have a feeling it's going to be a long line in here, which is a little depressing, but that's okay. It's worth a little bit of a wait to ride this. Oh, yeah. Actually, no, look, it's not too bad. This is going to be kind of fast. Yes, score! Icing on the cake. We actually haven't ridden this in a while. It's been, I mean, it's been a while, I feel like. At least a couple of weeks, which to us is a long time because we ride it almost every day we come to Epcot. We started to get a little, we slowed down a little bit where we didn't necessarily go every single time we came to Epcot, but we haven't ridden it in at least a few weeks, I'd say. So I'm pumped to ride it. Still my favorite ride, I think, in all of Disney. It's my favorite ride. It's my favorite. Still. It's not getting old to me at all. Woo, let's go! I'm getting it. I'm getting it on film. See them go off as we're leaving Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I'm telling you, every time, I swear it's the play pavilion because it's right over there on the left side. I think they're doing something there. I'm going to call it. And the cast members don't ever know, so. I got it on film finally. Woohoo! Now that's how you rock out the end of the night at Epcot. That's how you do it. And I got Disco Inferno, my favorite of all of the songs. Always love it when I get Disco Inferno. I feel like I hardly ever get it, and I got it today. So I was pumped. Overall, a pretty good day at Epcot. Got some great food at the Food and Wine Festival. Got to uh, check out some new merch, got some shows, entertainment, and we got to ride Cosmic Rewind. I don't think it gets any better than that, so thanks for joining us for this crazy awesome episode. Man, it just looks cool back there. Um, we will see you again next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment below. Don't forget, if you want to see your eat the snails, comment below. Do the comments. You're eating the snails. You're eating the snails. It's coming, I know it. It's light. There's some sort of like dark spot right here. I can't figure it out. But anyway, uh, thanks for joining us. Until we see you next time, the no boy. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.